the way he the way his answer was based, it was based like in a like sarcastic way, like in a way that you would actually go that I would actually go and even claim, but you were, you're lying. It's not true. I remember you and this and that. Um you see, you know, say you're looking for a trouble. There is no trouble when you know what you're doing. And the thing is that as long as you're not afraid to take on task, as long as you're not afraid to go and look backwards in what exactly the situation was, as long as you're not afraid, the only thing that happens is you gain because you open another set of windows and every little set of windows when it comes to MK Ultra, it actually helps you on your next step. You see, this is why, especially why you want to visualize Think about it, go back in time, hear what a person had to say, not act, which is very difficult not to act under MK Ultra when you are uh, subjected to reality, uh, according to the first impression, because it's, it's done in a such a way, it's brainwashed in such a way. But once you start to analyze, uh, and then you start to actually see through the net. Like I said, there was a whole bunch of setups they tried uh, here in this Galleria, exactly in the location where I am right now, was, I was brought by the Belarusians in 2017, specifically this lawyer, United Nations lawyer from Vitebsk, was right there and they were laughing at me really this is not gonna be like a way that this that i'm gonna recognize this and it goes this and they tell you lies they tell you lies everything that you you know how tricksy this thing is everything that you have learned from the past when you were brought over there they actually tell you that it was not there and they start to tell you that uh that that one opened later on and that one opened later on it's a good thing that under MK Ultra it had so much stability is another issue, but the best would be described strength that I kept my mouth shut and you know think about your set being like upset if somebody does something says something to you like a lie but you know it's a lie and uh, and you're like upset but you don't actually show this. And that's exactly what happened right in this occasion when I had this Guantoni violent Ruski telling me uh, stuff like lies, basically brainwashing me under MK Ultra about the stuff that would number one discourage me, like Empic. Like he claimed for the Empic that Empic opened later on, they just totally uh, crashed the whole order that was given to you, that was built to you over the years. They just rearrayed the whole picture okay and yeah you find yourself in this kind of situation they create all kinds of setups and go and try to make sense out of this it's a cluster you gotta be strong you gotta have a very good reasoning you gotta see right through big time to be able to go ahead this is not a joke if you think mk ultra is a joke your joke at the end i'm going to give some good instructions uh to the people that are subjected uh, it's something that i have failed uh to do and it costed me big time and i would just want for everybody whomever i can help with advice if god forbid you would find yourself in you're never gonna find you so many situation like this but in some kind of mk ultra cluster or something like this this could be really helpful to you of course if you're gonna use if you're going to use reasoning. Okay, I got his blah blah. From here, I continue to the next tour. I'm going to demonstrate you this tour. At this point, what's going on is I got all these tours around this Ampix tour. I got them like this under the finger. All I want to do is I just want to walk inside and just get 
Yes, 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 yes. That's all I want to do. And I want to get out of there. Now, things become complicated. Uh, that's okay. Uh, and most likely, I don't know. Um, that's something for authorities to look. Maybe they should complicate a few things about certain things. I do not know. Uh, maybe some people kind of uh, misrepresent things big time. You, when it comes to memory, let me explain to you folks. I mean, you have no idea. Just continue to watch. Okay, it's like this. What you see here, it's known as Ampic. This is a big store. This is a store. Uh, this is the first one, I guess, 100%. Uh, the store was open in 2010. Uh, the mall was shopping mall was open in 2008. On the other side, you see the store. It's known as Rosman. One moment. It's I didn't take the credit for it. In Ampic, the lady also said that the shopping mall was also open in 2008. That's another credit I will take. It was not open in 2008. It was opened on this side, and then what they did is they did some big remodeling and stuff like this, and they have enlarged or whatever they have done, and have made like a big thing like in 2008. It's a German store. This. The security guard, it's like this. The situation with the security guard. Obviously, I would not know the stuff like this if I wasn't here. But I'm not going to forget morning over there in Lodge when they brought me. And they were like, Guala, Bobby, Guala. And I was like, what? And it was like, we're going to take you inside now. Now it looks so good and this and that. And they did. That's, I remember all this stuff. like this. The security guard stated to me, that store is open here already for 20 years. I don't know about that. I cannot say that. Um, I was told on MK Ultra, if you're not going to tell immediately the store was open 20 years, you are dead. Um, they're going to count this like a big, big, big mistake. The thing is that, the thing is that if you concern, if you consider the stuff I've gone through that day, all the stuff I've gone through that day. Um, if you consider that I pointed out this story, if you consider that kind of stuff, if you consider that, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe really for the ladies, this was like a wow store or whatever, where they would buy themselves these ghetto rates or whatever they were loading themselves with. Uh, to me, it was the hell boring store. I never got anything from that store. They wouldn't even buy me a sneakers or anything like this. You know what I mean? It was like a total deprivation. No good. For themselves, they load themselves with the ice creams. Uh, they load themselves with, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And to me, they wouldn't give me stuff, you know. For me, it was a hell boring, that place. Because I was not here 20 years ago. Uh, I can tell you, however, that in 2010 the store was open. I can guarantee that. Um, you could say that was a little bit sarcastic comment. No, actually, this was not a sarcastic comment. The comment related to NKUltra portion. And it's like this. The individual, the security officer, one thing he cannot hide is that he works for a Rosman company. I this is going to be completely wrong. The security officer told the truth. Later on, I will come back to the store and I'm going to ask if the gentleman could please give me confirmation that he also was in this very store, in this very same location in 2010. He definitely was. We met with this gentleman afterwards on several more locations the thing about it is that he said he was not and i recognize him and so this is like a what now you have to think about why is it like this now and then again it opens up he truly was on other locations i was here 
that you're gonna hear me I was like completely skeptical about this gentleman said to me that this actually was not uh, the store that he was at I was like you're lying to me you're lying to me you're lying to me like this was inside of me he did not lie he told the truth the thing is that when I concentrated myself in this situation I have visualized it's a good gentleman again it all depends what you make out of it we go back to the situation with the farmers market and I did visualize the stores I was taken to where he eventually uh, in 2010 I can tell you that the gentleman was uh, there was one store uh, there was a one location he was in and then what they would do he would stay there for like uh, I, I think like three years he was in that same location this was his location and then what would happen is they would move him around to some other locations too so he did tell the truth now what's interesting is if you would show me those stores if you would show me the locations and I would get to choose between those locations I would <clears throat> I believe with a 100% certainty hit the spot um, there is a store that I think I know where he was working in 2010 uh, but listen to me eh? this is like to have a memory like this this is just like and to stay the stuff like this, this is like a big time push in luck um, I am not 100% certain about it I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the Rosman stores for locations and I'm going to go over that and I'm going to look that for myself. I should have done that already, I haven't. Before I say something here, uh, I'm going to do just this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the comment on that situation, okay? But the stuff like this, the stuff like this can, what this stuff can do is like, this is like, it throws like, a, it casts a doubt about whether you know what you're talking about at all um there is information that is hidden beneath that impression you had that individual works in this store um it's the feeling that this is the type of stuff you're facing with when you do the stuff like this it's the feeling that the gentleman is not saying the truth this is yet another feeling that you face and in this kind of situations it uh, logically it steers into the street known as uh, insecure what to do now this and that and so on there is a very specific reason why the gentleman is here today in this store very specific reason uh, this is a Saturday uh, he is in that store He's got a specific task to do. It's very particular why the whole thing is like this. But you know, again, what I want to do is I want to thank the gentleman. Uh, regardless of it, I am going to look at the computer and I'm going to get some more credits. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Google Maps and watch, see where this uh, Rosman stores was, and I'm going to score yet again. I just want to give here, I don't want to, I just want to show, I just want to demonstrate the area. This isn't stuff I should even talk much. Here, this is, this is what you see right next to it, like this, right next to it, like this. This was a tremendous, tremendous setup. Uh, let's see this thing here. Uh, anyways, uh, it's called... Lombard yeah the Lombards had just a big crash on me big time I remember this whole trip started because of the Lombard because of that Lombard shop that was a setup here is yet another Lombard shop yet another setup however this individual security officer did work for Osman all along obviously that is a logical conclusion in that case uh, the second thing, what you see right there is this 
strike the shop. You could not see much inside of this store at all. You couldn't see anything inside of the store. It was everything was green, except for this thing here, like this, that you see on the side here, like this. You could see the cases like this. Wrong. This is a totally false information. What happened was, this was a Lombard store inside of the mall uh, for many, many years. Many years. Um, the thing about this Lombard store, it was a setup in 2017, and now I'm going to set you up. In 2017, the store, this particular Lombard store, violated Lombard regulations uh, number one inside of the store there were a lot of cellular phone accessories a lot of cellular phone accessories uh, the cellular phones were always inside of this shop inside of this Lombard shop number two um, when I say that violated Lombard's um, ethics Lombard's principles Regulations, yes, just about a month before the store was completely empty, I think it was even maybe two months, month or two months, something like this, Lombard did what Lombard shouldn't do and now prove me that I don't remember what happened. They removed the green because on the side like this, it should be all green and stuff like this. They removed the green stuff and they have displayed the telephones almost in exactly the same fashion and almost look as it looks right now just like this in the store now deal with it then what happened was they disappeared the store changed the ownership the new under the new ownership the new store almost looked like this one and i dare you with information to challenge me in respect to this thing uh, when it comes to Lombard, it's okay. Uh, how the hell are you going to even like this? How would you want to go and uh, again, inside of this Lombard store, there was all the time telephone cases. There was all the time telephones. It was all the time like this. And what this owner of this particular store alone told me, I'm going to do something what is not if it's not, I don't know how much that could be considered as illegal. But it's not with the principles of the company Lombard. Remove the green signs even and did exactly what I have stated right here. At first, uh, he loaded exactly what you see on the side like this with the telephone cases, with the stuff like this. Then the whole thing uh, disappeared and changed uh, the ownership. This is a fact. There were cases like that that you could see the telephone cases. They did have. Uh, as far as my claiming that this is an old shop, it's a 100% hit, one way or the other. And I have even described how the change of the ownership occurred. I take a full credit. Yeah, they did have a telephones inside in there and so on and so forth. Another shop right there that you see is a haircut shop. I was correct about haircut shop you are about to hear a hundred percent hit but i'm not happy with it i'm gonna make even another hundred percent i was not gutsy enough but inside of the shop let me go backwards or cases like that that you could see the telephone cases boom that shop right there that's a haircut shop before that shop came now dare me with this kind of a stuff before this shop came, it was a boring, boring company. Like, so boring company that you would just fell on the floor and start to sleep right there. There was some kind of... It was for about maybe six months, one year or something like that. They did some kind of evaluation. It was some kind of a shop with... Boring as hell. I have no idea what exactly they... I think they sell some kind of products like... It kind of a reminded of like styling, like a home styling, some kind of like kitchen wood, some kind of a stuff like this, some kind of a 
store that was I think from like Scandinavia, Italy or something like this, some kind of um, like elegant stuff like this, but it was like evaluation to see what whatever is going to be. I think they last about a year or something like this. Things did not go well. The next thing you see, you had this store coming. Um, They did have a they did have a telephone inside in there and so on and so forth. Another shop right there that you see is a haircut shop. I was correct about. Now then there is this shop right here. This shop here. So I don't want to be just correct about it. I want to go beyond that. This shop. Oh, this is this is a cellular shop. Uh, whatever the name is, I don't even know what the name is. This shop here. According to the ladies that were inside of the shop, uh, according to the two ladies, I was like completely wrong. Okay, it's like this. I'm just going to go to MK Ultra information. One lady, if I properly remember, work on a location that is like... I think that one, there are two older employees, all about the same age like I am, something like this, the two female, females, ladies. One lady worked, I think she was like inside of this small, like I think something like on a second floor, something like this, and the other one was uh, outside of this small, but also in vicinity of this place, something like this. The problem here is a big one. It's a big problem because when I was brought to this location in 2013, when I was brought to this location, huh, pretty much just as I ask, it would appear to me as a, as a cellular shop, as they would have some kind of a plans cellular plants, telephones, something like this. <coughs> the lady, however, she gives me a different answer. I'm going to comment to that stuff. Um, could this information that I have just stated right now be verified? I'm going to go back to MKUltra that security personnel staff knows this lady is uh, inside of the mall. They could definitely if necessary, they would get this kind of information if I would supply something like this. And the second thing is, I yet have to go and see through the internet, find out uh, what exactly happened if there was not really some other cellular shops uh, inside of this very space right here. I am going to try to find out somehow. Uh, unfortunately, you're dealing also with the stuff like this. Uh, do I take away credit from this thing here? No, I am not going to take a credit. I still claim I am 100% certain that in 2013 there was a shop here, a cellular telephone shop. Now, we yet have to find out. I went all the way to 2013. That's like six years back. That's a pretty damn gutsy. Uh, and I think this shop was actually even earlier. Uh, I want information about this particular place big time. Uh, then again, in 2019, when in Belarus, I was brought right here and they did the brainwash. I have to go over the recording to give you more. Uh, there is a cellular thing. telephone okay. shop which lady stated that was that is here only was for five months. And then there is another lady that supposedly was here only one month longer than she was. Okay, this information here that the shop is only here for five months. Uh, it's a big question what went on here in 2017. This is was a punct. This was a point where these people knew I am going to be doing exactly what you see here today. So, uh, it's very.
done something dirty like this. Um, they took advantage of me. They brought me here. Okay, this is good stuff. For the political asylum in Belarus, Ruski took okay. advantage of me. I am. It's completely clear to me. You're already in the construction site. Uh, the only thing I remembered inside of the Belarus that I'm not going to even say what I remember. Why should I say that? How I realized inside of the Belarus political asylum alone that I was subjected to MK Ultra, I'm not going to say. Here, the last stuff like this I revealed, the better I'm off. To exact this location that. and to other spots they knew I was familiarized, I was acquainted with. So they would confuse me again on timing. The Russians are filthy, filthiest people I have ever met. I am upset here. I don't mean Russians. Um, this is this is a very wrong statement. I had a wonderful time in Belarus watching Belarus people. But like I said, and I'm going to repeat exactly what I said right next to that beautiful Orthodox church over there in watch. Uh, Vladimir Putin is the worst commercial for the beautiful people like this. And in 2019, almost 2020, this should not be the case. Russian people deserve better than that. Uh, Russian people deserve someone that would represent them as per what they truly are as a, as a great nation, as a, as a people, and should bring this greatness in people forward rather than lurk it darker than dark the darkest stuff possible please it's time to it's time to change things in russia you see this is the kind of stuff that makes people go and say it makes stuff me upset that, that you go ask for protection for help for political protection yeah like of course of course i have a reason to, to feel so aggravated stupid, like this that i took the side against americans that i took the side against really almost the whole world for the sake of the Russian people and that my political asylum was misused in a, such a filthy way. It is, it was. I was propagating against the US back then. I, I was I was very, very pro-Russian and uh, and they took such advantage of me. I, I can actually, I can read it. That I was brought to this location here. And Vladimir Putin, this is a cancer. Me timing like this set me up with the timing uh, the settings inside of the political asylum where you apply mm. for the political asylum are the same like in hostel okay you understand what the hostel is uh, there is no difference actually between the hostel it was open, it was already open in 2000 okay my mind twists a little bit here I am kind of aggravated I am not happy about this stuff I realize, I remind myself when I was right here at this very spot with this attorney from Belarus and he was brainwashing me and telling me this, discouraging me, clustering me, giving me the wrong information, brainwashing me on how to see things as and so on and gesturing, we gonna see, we gonna see, like this challenging you even. And when you consider the stuff I've gone through, sure, sure, this is not a joke. Okay, the next store I go to is where was a Lombard, but again, I have to say, I am certain this was a Lombard, and it was not, um, it actually was a Lombard, I am pretty certain that this is the store, the seller shop in which I'm heading right now, that this shop was here all along, and I make a claim this shop was there in 2013, uh, just as I explained, I'm certain that this is the shop, that this shop was here in 2013, and the lady tells me, no, this was a Lombard. They said, this is the type of stuff that is very discouraging, regardless of what. This I can already give you also an advice. Regardless, regardless. Um, when you face this kind of situations, the pressure you are subjected to is impossible to describe. Like I said, I'd rather go and do the heavy lifting, whatever it takes, than stuff like this. I'll go anything you want me to do than 
do this kind of stuff um, regardless even if you have and in this case this is not the case I have to thank everybody everybody helped me big time here all these Polish people this is just really beautiful this is what really want me to stay here um, even in case if you would have person lying to you in the face even in such case you have to politely thank person and walk out and the best what I can recommend is you know adopt the same logic like everything is good for something this is my kind of logic uh, Uh, I don't know what is it that makes you stronger there is there is a saying in the US but what I was gonna say is if person did not tell the truth and you find out that you're right you're just gonna come out stronger uh, if the person did tell the truth and so on you have to use that kind of information to adjust yourself to um, you know to pull the information that you have and fill one with the proper information that's all there is you don't argue you don't absolutely anything like this never ever do that this is the most golden rule the only thing you do is you thank you very much person and I was I was faced with this kind of question uh, you know when I was in, in a situations like this when they, they did a setups they also ask a question is it okay and my answer always was the same everything is good for something that's all there is uh, it doesn't matter it comes that Chinese culture also thing this Jing Pang uh, karma stuff like this uh, that's basically how I see it as because everything is good for something this is just the way it is thank you very much hand trick and you walk out you go to the next stage and so on so let's continue <laughs> Okay, I got this and I'm in Korea. I, I thought I'm just gonna go from store to store to store and get confirmation, confirmation, confirmation and just go fast. Okay, the security officer was not in the same store as I have explained. This is some issue I have to look into it. Okay. I go already inside the seller shop. Uh -huh. The lady tells me your store. Uh, I ask her if your store, your cellular shop store. I, I'm certain this store was in 2013. I remember this. Well, every time when we came here to this location, we went inside of some kind of a cellular shop. There was a cellular shop. Uh, and they have these telephones and they have these telephone cases also in this shop. Yes, they have telephone cases in this shop. This tele this shop had more telephone cases than what a regular uh, Lombard shops have. A regular Lombard shops don't have like this. In fact, there is a little bit more. Uh, I don't know exactly what. Um, this is also a possibility. It might not go against the rules and regulations of Lombard because I don't know how Lombard stores are different from uh, on the streets how much they differ from those inside of the mall it might be just what I have described it might be just a regular Lombard store like this just a perfect for me this is a hundred percent hit I consider this definitely is a hundred percent hit and again this is Lombard I remember this whole trip changed I was on a search for a phone but because of what happened I started to take like it was like a little revenge like this like somebody tried to undermine me that's immediately I'm triggered to uh, prove myself that I know what I'm talking about where uh, I find myself in a space and time So I go for 2013, uh, the lady gives me a green light but says it was uh, 
Lombard here. And as I go out, I am like, whoa, you know, why, why have they done this to me? And then I go inside and I, but I tell her, but I ask her, but yeah, but this shop looked just like, like this shop. They, they had this, the same thing on the side. And I have explained about a month, two months prior to the closing of the shop, the owner placed that was against big time against the rules and regulations of the Lombard and I'm pretty sure that such proofs exist among the uh, shopping mall employees. He removed the green stripes on the side. Uh, on the side, in front, the green stripes remain the green thing, but on the side, uh, he partially removed them and he left this cellular cases like this. Already the new uh, the new picture uh, like of the store started to get. The, the idea really was completely to confuse on this thing. This really is not my fault. She says, how long have you been here for? And she tells me we have been here two years. Well, this is in 2017 and in 2017 and you have a Belarus. So when I was brought from the Belarus, Mr. Lombard did something very dirty together with the Ruskis. Exactly what I have described. That is a serious setup. Not nice at all. Now, in this kind of situation, you could not know, and I think many people they would not even be subjected to MK Ultra in this. It would be difficult. Lombard, because okay, I just gotta get over myself here because I'm like. I claim this is a hundred percent hit. I don't give this at all. This is a hundred percent hit for me. No way. I go inside to the lady and I tell her, hey, this Lombard had a cellular phones inside. He had a telephone cases like this on the side and so on. And she says yes. And I say, how am I supposed to know this? But again, you know, this is like totally like I feel like th this is right now. This is like this is this was like already like a desperate way to undermine somebody. This is like this stuff here right now is telling me that to do something like this is already like a desperate way to discourage individual like myself from going forward. This was like a desperate. I go to security officers, I have explained, I ask him, but he says, no, I worked on another location. Again, what you're going to hear is, I'm going to thank you very much. I walk out and of course, I'm all red. I'm thinking about first that it comes to me is like I recognize new men and I'm talking to myself. I'm burning this information. I'm like, you know, and then like after a while, I started, you know, I I concentrate on this thing and then he comes to me and now actually this is true and I start to analyze and I picture him also that we were also in other stores in fact his story alone he he helped me out a lot this gentleman this gentleman told me in fact that this is a big operation that when they're gonna realize what I'm doing that where I'm hiring where I'm gonna go to exact this points 
he will come to job and it will be really interesting to know it's time and there you have it time is absolutely after three o'clock because at three o'clock i was at the construction site that means the gentleman started his shift in afternoon unless they would come up with some kind of uh excuse that um you know you can write down hours whatever that you were but um that is yet another signal that the gentleman did exactly what he gestured he would do under mk outro and you're going to be doing this kind of stuff and i'm going to arrive to this location and it's going to be like this this is good stuff i'm going to look in those stores i'm going to point it out um, for the law enforcement i'm going to see if i can identify the store and post that online don't know what i'm going to get yet but i'm pretty confident with it the shift security shift that starts at about three o'clock or maybe two o'clock and ends at ten o'clock so he did came for me he said he did not and he's correct you see he said he did not and i said thank you very much and i walk away it hurts it hurts like hell but that's what you're supposed to do thank you one way or the other thank you and we walk away that's it never argue anything I go to the haircut shop <coughs> I asked this was already in 2015 for sure your store uh, and it's very possible the store also was already here in 2013 and like I said I remember the store uh, that was before this one this was some kind of a boring to death store like they had like a like like some kind of furniture something like this like clean everything was like clean like uh, something like this like some kind of uh, if you would again if you would give me a b c d whatever 10 things to choose from and i would exactly point you out what exactly they had but it was something related to like furniture something like something like this boring okay boring like a hell uh stuff like this that never really got my attention okay but i so i can tell you what was there this is the type of store that was before the haircut shop opened and she did give me the green light for 2013 and that's pretty nice that's all the way uh six years back she said she doesn't know what the store was before that um how much were these people excited to see me i do not know <laughs> some people were happy to see me they knew exactly what's going on others are not so happy but they all helped me out i'm cool with everybody thank you I'm now in another shop, in another cellular telephone shop. Yeah. 
Um, what did she say? I don't know. Maybe she even admits there was another shop. There was some kind in 2013. That was some kind of shop. I have to hear this again. I'm not really sure about this. In 2013, there was a shop, some kind of telephones. I I remember they had some kind of a stuff inside in there. What exactly? Like they would be selling like a telephone plans. They had the telephones. It was like a telephone shop in the shop. What exactly was in there? I don't know. And this is the stuff. Something I'm gonna have to go over uh, and find out. Like I have stated, um, one lady worked, I think, like on the second floor, something like this, and another lady worked. I think it's like a mall across the street, something like this. Eh? This is like already like extraordinary information right there if there was no MK Ultra. I mean, you can even go and you can set a ghost store, but Americans and Israelis too uh, did investigate it and they did like uh, find out uh, about the people where they work and this and that and on the site it was a bobby tra la 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 and boom bobby got that information so I don't know. Maybe she's saying that this that this that was this store before this or something like this. I have no idea. What is Strinatsky? I gotta find out still. I am gonna call this situation as a situation that I have to still find out uh, what's going on. I still gotta find out about this situation. Um, was there a setup in 2013? You, you don't have to do much to create the environment like this. Um, in this particular store in 2017, there definitely was a setup. Um, now, as far as the haircut shop, 100% hit. As far as the Empix store, 100% hit. As far as the shopping mall, 100% hit. As far as the Rosman, 100% hit. I missed a shopping store also. I gave the details on businesses before that located. As far as what I have missed was a security officer and I missed um, this very shop, um, supposedly, uh, but I gave already information on security officer, I am going to look for that information and I gave the information about the two ladies. So. What kind of a miss can this be? This is this is like a hundred percent hit. I mean, you can try to another Lombard shop, cellular shop. I consider that as a hundred percent hit. Um, if you do it like this under this type of circumstances, the person, I mean, what else? Like with a very good, like with a very high scoring, you cannot score higher than that. Okay. Um, just to record this, uh, I am just a little bit better than what I thought I could even be. Uh, she said before that it was a plus. Well, the plus is a cellular shop. You, and you can see it right here that this is exactly a cellular store. Plus, Shisco, Bezlimito, Internet, Otego, and so on. There you have it. Uh, yet another 100% hit. Tick. So, you have 
you have yet another 100% so now if I go to do the recap about this side of the mall uh, since now I did checked uh, opening of the mall 100% 2008 Empic 100% 2010 Rosman 2010 100% 2013 haircut shop 100% shop uh, the cellular shop uh, that you can see right here and 100% I also where the Lombard store was so there is exactly a little mistake I have made in respect to a security officer inside of the inside of the Rosman shop but other than that I have made exactly zero mistakes about the two ladies the only thing that happened in 2017 and uh, Russians have used them to confuse uh, on a situation and the whole idea as I have explained was done in a such a way that would discourage me before I would get to this next location where the most important part played out so the higher score like this um, under this kind of a circumstances I don't think anybody could possibly ever get that's I take the credit that this is like the highest score that one possibly can get you can't get any higher than that and I again I identify both ladies I know where they worked and I also know for the security officer if I I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna point out his location so zero mistake zero 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 mistake security officer appeared in afternoon it was about four o'clock probably when I finally got to this Galleria Saturday that means he really took the right in afternoon to come here to this location with a very specific purpose so this is as good as you get you can't get higher than this score you cannot get okay this is filmed the next day the very next day is when this thing is filmed let me see something here this is where we were right now the gentleman worked in this and in this stores these are two stores hey there's also a third store where he worked but this is good enough for me you know uh, this is just more than good enough for me I'm gonna point out here like this I'm gonna demonstrate you the two buildings this is filmed inside of the library by the way this is one store where the gentleman worked and okay let me show you the building a Rosman store right there like that and then if we go to another location Let's go back. And it's going to be this one here. So this is one, and this is yet another one right here. Here is your address of the second place. What you're going to do is uh, just going to go like. Like this. And there you are, right in front of his building, right there. This is another location where he worked. And that does just more than enough for me. I have provided with more than 100% testimony in respect to verifying store locations. I have provided extra information, which I have obtained under MK Ultra. There was this third store location and the third store location was inside of what you see here you would go through this is interior of the store
and on the map if I point you one out you just see this thing here This was his third location. That's let me see one more time to get here. Rosman right there. One, two, three. Number four right there. That's the one right here. So you got all three uh, three locations. That's the third location. Let's stop. First of all, before I go, to clarify two things. As much as I would love to see Mr. Kaczynski somehow in some positive light, uh, in respect to all this. There were a few things, quite a few things that he <clears throat> give, made them available, so I could pinpoint certain things um, according to scenario. Uh, there were certain situations that were like, he funded them actually, that helped me out identify people. Definitely is the true, but his Obluda Dvolichovost, a double-faced game, it's what I see as a hypocrisy. <clears throat> Dates all the way back, even before the farmer's market, when I said earlier, 2010, no, sometimes in 2000, 2008-2010, somebody came and started to gesture, that they would do stuff like this, it could be like this, and it could be like that. But when I think about it, this thing go way earlier, dates into earlier time, that it could be like this, it could be like that. There were many occasions, many situations that along the road, along the path, as you travel through the MK Ultra scenarios, if you would not well analyze, you could find yourself in point of no return I mean they could do with you whatever they want to do this is the first uh, thing I want to clarify the second thing I want to clarify is that in respect to attorney from Belarus United Nations attorney from Vitebsk <clears throat> I'm gonna put it this way the brainwash with the steward with the two ladies by the way which it's a criminal act to come from another location uh, and present yourself as a salesman in another shop so that a person would return and would mistaken <clears throat> it doesn't it doesn't fail you but when you ask a person if they are the same employees already for so many many years and they say they are not it definitely leaves confidence mark on you so when you're moving to the next location to the next point it undermines it so much that you are afraid to ask questions uh, basically afraid to go as far as you can possibly go um, this brainwash started already in 2015 they had this ladies and I know so because thanks to Americans uh, who were concerned about this stuff, they have observed these Russians doing that kind of stuff already, brainwash, already they started earlier.